Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. My name is Soman and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the expressivity profile, right? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you are aiming to get Canadian fear and what are the starting step, right? What you need to do? So in my all videos, I always say is like, you know, uh, to become Canadian peer, you probably don't need any help from any immigration consultant or any immigration lawyer because the process is very straightforward. And uh, only thing that you need to do that is in your hand basically, uh, that is creation of expression profile. Because if you think like, you know, if you go to any immigration consultant or any, you know, immigration, those immigration companies, because lots of advertising and lots of, uh, I can see lots of ads over Facebook and uh, in other places, like, you know, where people claims that uh, getting Canadian PR is very easy and we can help you with that. It's true, getting, getting Canadian PR is very easy, but you don't need any help, basically. Uh, you can simply follow CIC's page, Canadian Immigration uh, page, that is uh, canada.ca uh, their website official website if you follow that and if you follow the process step by step then it's very easy very simple nobody can help you with anything because it, it all depends on on your profile how much score you are scoring and little bit luck i would say okay it depends on a bit luck also so uh, to start your process you need to create your expression profile and to create your expression profile you need to uh, you need to have your education that needs to be assessed as per Canadian benchmark. You need to have a valid IELTS score, right? Yeah, whether you are able to communicate in English or not, because English is official language in Canada, English and French. So obviously, like no, we know English, not French. Many people know. So that is that is the second thing, right? So first is yeah, your educational credential assessment, and second second is yeah, how like you know, clearing your IELTS exam as per Canadian language benchmark. And Canadian language ben benchmark, you need to score CLB seven in each topic of IELTS. So that is the that's the starting thing, like you know, for uh, creation cre creating your uh, expression profile. Because when you create your profile, that time. The system will ask you about your ECA certification, I mean the ECA document when it has completed and you need to give the ECA reference number. ECA means Educational Credential Assessment as per Canadian benchmark. And second thing it will ask you for your uh, IELTS detail when you have uh, given your IELTS exam, when the score has been published and what was your score, right? And that thing obviously you cannot give any false information. So nowhere you can give any, any kind of false information, everything whatever is true, you need to declare that true, true information and these two things you need to complete before uh, crea creation of expression tip profile. And, and uh, after that also if there is a fund requirement and lots of other things are there as per uh, Canadian immigration law that you need to maintain a, a specific fund, a minimum fund in your bank account so that you can prove that you have enough money or enough fund to, uh, to settle here in Canada if you get get permanent so anyway so today's topic is ECA how you can clear your ECA or how you can complete your ECA right so it's very again it is very very straightforward and very easy process so step by step I can tell you what exactly you need to do the first step you need to do uh, you need to you need to decide which organization you are going for because there are some third party organizations which are authorized by Canadian government or uh, the federal government or Canadian Immigration Department, I would say, uh, that is authorized by them. And you need to create your profile with those third party company. And you need to submit your document to those third party company. And you need to pay the, their fees. After that, they will verify your credential. And then they will give you assessment report. That as per Canadian assessment, what is your education? Okay, in your country, probably you have done your masters. But as per Canadian assessment, that may be graduate that may be like an you know, undergraduate that all depends on your profile that all depends on your uh, on your education and and all depends on the mapping between your country's education system and Canadian education system and and uh, also there are possibilities that if you have studied in Canada if you have done your graduation in Canada then like you know, that's very easy to get your ECA report because that will be assessed as per Canadian benchmark and you have started in Canada only. 
बट दिस वीडियो वुड बी हेल्पफुल फॉर दोज हो लाइक माई वो स्टैंडर्ड एप्रोड एप्रोड मीन्स लाइक माई इन योर ओन कंट्री मे बी इंडिया पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश सम अदर कंट्री राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड टेल यू वॉट आई हैव डन आई कैन शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस सो वॉट आई हैव डन आई फर्स्ट क्रिएट माई प्रोफाइल आई हैव आई हैव क्रिएटेड माई प्रोफाइल इन डब्ल्यू एस वर्ल्ड एडुकेशन सर्विस यू कैन गोल इट डब्ल्यू ई एस डॉट ओ आर जी आई गेस सो जस्ट गूगल इट इट विल गिव यू दट होम पेज फॉर फॉर डब्ल्यू एस आई थिंक दे हैव टू वेबसाइट वन इज फॉर कैनडियन असेसमेंट एंड वन इज फॉर यू एस असेसमेंट आई गेस सो यू नीड टू चूज कैनाडियन असेसमेंट डब्ल्यू ई एस डॉट सी ए यू कैन गो टू दैट वेबसाइट एंड देर यू नीड टू रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ बाई गिविंग योर नेम फोन नंबर ई मेल एड्रेस and uh, after that uh, it will ask you for your education uh, they are you need to you need to provide all the details what is your highest education and always you need to assess your highest education not like you no know, everything that you have done that is very much um, like you no know, uh, important because i was also confused when i was doing my ca because my wife has done uh, masters so i was confused whether i need to uh, do the assessment for both her master degree and uh, graduation uh, or the bachelor degree or not right but uh, the thing is that you need to assess uh, or you need to provide your document as per your highest qualification okay if you are masters then your masters degree has to be assessed not your uh, bachelor degree okay keep in mind that so first you create your profile in ws then uh, like no uh, provide your educational um, uh, details like no whatever you have done and there you will see all the recognized university from india or whatever your country is you need to choose that um, choose that university and after providing all the details right what is your major subject and all all those uh, minor details are there you need to upload your document you need to upload your passport for identification and then you need to provide uh, your certification or semester wise marks it whatever you had right whatever you can upload you can upload there after that you, you need to submit your profile uh while submitting your profile uh, you need to pay their fees okay that is 300 dollar something 300 canadian dollar okay not us dollar so in indian money it is around 15 to 18000 uh in in round figure i'm i'm telling you can check it out the latest information i'm just giving you a high level information right it could be 315 something like that so you need to pay that uh, 315 dollar and you can pay it by using your credit card or debit card right any credit card or any debit card like uh, it can be master card or visa or amex if you have and that is issued from your own country okay so uh, now it is all the visa and master cards are international card so you can you can pay by using your uh, own credit card right so once you pay uh, that fees immediately it will give you a reference number that reference number is is uh, is very much important because that reference number you need to take care of okay and along with that reference number it will it will give you the instruction what exactly you need to do so basically what exactly you need to do once you get your reference number along with that it will give you the address where you need to uh, send the physical copy of uh, your education right or whatever education you have done so when i done i have done it uh, like no in in the year 2020 or 2018 i guess yeah so 2018 first ec i have done so that time it used to be a physical copy nowadays um, they accept online copy also soft copy also but it that depends on the university from which university you have studied so in my case it was uh, it was from uh, like you know i had to provide them the physical copy and uh, in in my case in the year of 2018 the system was very simplified very easy i had just taken the reference number and the address then i went to the university you have to go to your university and you need to ask for a official transcript okay or what is official transcript the official transcript is a official document that is issued by your university and that will certify that you were the you were the student of that university and whatever uh, uh like you know whatever edu- education you have done there and semester wise mark sheet they will attest okay there will be attested copy of your uh, mark sheet and certification um and uh, they will sign it physically they will sign and they will seal it that attestation is required if you don't get attested copy then that will not be valid for uh, your ca okay so so i had visited my university that time and uh, within a day or couple of days i got uh, all the attested 
copy of my uh, my semester wise mark sheet and certificate then uh, yeah, they, they will put it into an envelope they will seal the envelope you are not supposed to break that envelope okay? you are not supposed to break that envelope at all if you are breaking that envelope if you are opening that envelope then WS will reject your application okay you will not be tempering or you will not be modifying the envelope or any of the document that is given by your university okay always keep in mind that so then then i have taken that uh, transcript and then i have posted it by uh, indian post i guess yes indian post i have posted and uh, i posted to uh, canada it will come to toronto basically to their head office and after that it will be updated in your online profile also in, uh, in your online account you can track right when they when they have received when they have started their verification and when the verification is completed and what is the result okay once the verification is completed that takes around a month to verify your uh, whatever document you are sending to WS so after a month you will get a uh, online soft copy and also during the creation of your profile in WS it will ask you to which organization you need to send your um, uh, this one right this this assessment copy where you need to send and there you need to select IRCC immigration refugee uh, citizenship of Canada so basically what it does once the assessment is done WS will send you a soft copy over your email that assessment copy and the same assessment copy they will send to IRCC also so in IRCC's database they will submit your uh, ECA uh, copy whatever assessment copy is there so and they will give you that number right so you have that uh, that ECA certificate number and date uh, over your ECA certificate so that is needed right once you receive your uh, ECA certificate then uh, you can create your XSNT profile again provided if your ILTS is completed so then while you are creating your XSNT profile that time you need to provide that same ECA certificate number and the date when that assessment has completed so basically what happened when you submit your profile and if you get the invitation from IRCC uh, when you will be submitting your original document it could be soft copy also obviously soft copy you need to submit you don't need to send a physical copy for your Canadian PR once you submit that copy right IRCC the case officer what they will do they will take the soft copy that you have provided they will see their, that copy and then they will search into their database by using that certificate number whether WS has sent that copy to IRCC or not if WS did not send that copy to IRCC then IRCC will ask you to contact WS so that they can resend the document to IRCC okay that is very much important so that hardly happened uh, that never happened like you now if you if you have paid your fees to WS once your assessment is done WS will send both the copy to IRCC and to yourself right so you need to keep that soft copy handy and anytime you can download that soft copy from WS also if you, and if you miss your email then also there is no problem because that soft copy will be available in your own account that online account with WS so the very simply simplistic process during my time it was simple but during COVID time when I had done it for my wife that time they changed the rule uh, in my time I I sent that copy right that as a that uh, transcript that is given by university I sent it myself but during my wife's time when she did her uh, uh, ECA that time university has to send you cannot send okay the rules has been changed and your university will be knowing that okay if you are going to your university and if you are saying to the official that you need a transcript for Canada they will be knowing the process okay so basically you need to submit your document there to your university and your, your university will prepare the transcript whatever fees you need to pay there also that is very minimum i guess 100 200 or 500 rupees something like that and they will prepare the transcript and that transcript they will send from their registered post okay that will be coming from their address not from your address so the candidate cannot send the uh, transcript anymore okay for indian candidate i'm telling and i am not sure about other country so you need to check it out uh, in ws website when you create your profile when you submit your document that will be clear cut it will be mentioned there that uh, what you need to do whether you need to send your document or your university has to send the document 
So anyway, so that is the whole process. Nowadays, I heard it is happening over the online also. Like you know, you need to apply to your university, and your university, I mean, while you are applying to your university, you need to give that reference number, right? That reference number that you are getting while creating your profile in WS, because that reference number is the mapping for you, right? So when university will send your profile with that reference number, uh, send that transcript with that with that reference number to WS, WS map it with your account. So that is the whole process. So nowadays they are accepting online copy also, but that has to be from a registered email of that university, not by you. Okay. So that is the whole process. I hope this would be helpful for you guys. Very easy process. Just go to WS and just follow the steps. It's very easy. Uh, it's not confusing at all, uh, at all. And nowadays ECA is uh, being completed. I think within 15-20 days also because uh, through online they are getting it instantly. And after that, getting that uh, document or the attested copy from university through email, it is very easy for them to ver verify that document. Okay. So that's why nowadays it is it is very easy uh, to get ECA done within seven days or 15 or 20 days, right? So yeah, so that's it for today. If you have any any more question on ECA, you can shoot me the question. And uh, if you haven't created your expressentry profile, I request you please uh, create your expressentry profile. You might get lucky to get an invitation from any PNP for any PNP program or even for federal from federal government. And for that thing, you need to complete your ECA. Okay, if you haven't started your process, please start it today. So anyway, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.